Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Hidden Flame, and welcome to Modded Mondays. Now, I did a poll over on my Discord. If you wish to come see, please hop in over on my Discord. I have a double picture here. Anyway, while I fix this, um, I will put, I can put my Discord in the description. For those of you who want to come join and watch, take place in polls. If not, well, that's fine too. Now, uh, or what the hell? Okay, so I am going to be playing the Tale of Two Wastelands. It is a Fallout 3 Fallout New Vegas mod. It's something I've always wanted to play, and I'm going to be playing it. Now, I wanted to heavily mod this with a couple of mods like the ghost outfit or equipment and armor from StarCraft, but I just couldn't figure out how to work it with Tale of Two Wastes. So, I'm going to be playing it as it is. Um, there's enough mods in here to work things correctly, so we're going to go ahead and get that started. Oh dear. So we start off in Fallout 3, do everything there, then head over to Fallout 4. So. On fire. I like this. I just want to start a flame in your heart. In my. I have but one desire. Well, I'm gonna get copyright claimed for this, but yeah. What is you? Oh, other will do. I've lost all ambition of worldlier fame. I just want to be the one who loves. Now, what I'm going to be doing, though, is I'm going to be playing this as a uh, role play. Um, something I've always wanted to do. So, I'm going to do all the... Do this game as, like, one mission at a time. Will I be recording one mission at a time? Heck no. There's way too much in that. Uh, these are probably going to be about one to two hours each, uncut, and me trying my best to roleplay. <clears throat> so, that is how I'm going to do it. And eventually, I'm going to go from three to New Vegas. While I'm not a fan of New Vegas, it's part of the mind, and I will do it. War. War never changes. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, blood has been spilled in the name of everything from God to justice to simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. For man had succeeded in destroying the world, but war, war never changes. In the early days, thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as vaults. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For 
on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters. And no one ever leaves. Okay, so I don't know if I'm... I'm going to be playing a female character, because I've always liked the female characters. played Fallout 3 in a long time. This is going to be interesting. A girl? A girl? You've got a daughter, Catherine. A beautiful, healthy baby girl. Oh. Oh, James. We did it. Oh. Daughter. Oh. A beautiful daughter. You've got a bright future ahead of us. I'm sure. Look at you. Look at you. Hi there. I'm your daddy, sweetie. Daddy. You're going to need a name, aren't you? Your mother and I have been talking. What do you think about that? Okay, so I gotta type this in. Um, I always liked the name Serenity. Okay. She's going to be Asian. I could spend forever on this alone. do this. We use this one. No, no, no. Yeah, let's do the seductress. Take that all red. Put some red back in. Yeah, we'll do blue hair. Why not? You're going to look a lot like your dad. Oh, really? Oh, oh, beautiful. Just like your daddy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big world out there, honey, full of all sorts of people. What about you? What kind of person? Oh, yeah, okay. So it's adding all the traits from New Vegas. 
Let's see. Not sure what character I'm going to be just yet, because I'm going to be playing it as the stats I get. I'm not going to preset anything. So whatever I get through my tutorial is how I'm going to do it. Let's see. Well, we're going to have Wild... Can I, should I do Wild Wasteland? Um, I do know I'm going to need this. But your shots are 20% less accurate. You're good hearted at heart. Good natured heart the more. More prone to solving problems with your mind than violence. You gain 5 to barter, medicine, repair, science, and speech. Negative 5 to energy, explosive, guns, and unarmed. You gain plus 25 pounds off carrying weight, but suffer negative 1 to all attributes at any time the weight it drops below 160. Okay. Okay, plus five points to every skill, but you suffer. Huh. Actually, instead of fast shot, do trigger discipline. <laughs> we uh, come on, can I jump it? Oh, there you go. My goodness, just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, kiddo, I know you don't like it when daddy leaves you alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. You just stay here while daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, honey. I'll be back in a bit. Ball. Because I know exactly what I want to do. Give me my doll. Give me my, my teddy. No? Guess I can't do that just yet. Because I know what I want to do. So I got a S is for strength. That means you can, I am strong. You can carry more toys. B is for perception. It's for lo, it's a long and funny word. Endurance, charisma, intelligence. I can't remember which is which. Okay, so I'm gonna need strength. Gonna need charisma. I think intelligence is more skill points. That's stealth. I'm not gonna be stealthy. That's health. Take perception down. Put it in intelligence. I think that's how I want it. Now what?
orthopedic supplies. I want my teddy. Can I not pick up anything? At least we have to pick up the teddy. Hmm, oh well. Hey, you didn't fool me. I just pretended not to know. You're such a liar. Okay, if you're so smart, what did I get you for your birthday? Uh, I really have no idea. Ha, I knew I surprised you. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Krogna, issue 14, and with no missing pages. I found this in a box of my father's old things. Believe it or not, imagine him reading comic books. I guess everybody was ten once. Well, I better let you get back to mingling with your guests. We'll talk later, okay? Happy birthday. Thanks, Amada. Enjoying yourself? Hello, Officer Gomez. Happy birthday, Missy. Happy birthday, Missy. Are you having a nice party? Ten years old. My, my, my. Seems like only yesterday that your daddy came. Goodness, listen to me ramble. You're waiting for your present, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. Such a nice, polite young lady you are. Don't ever lose your gift of speaking your mind so directly. We could use more of that down here. Here you go. A nice sweet bowl that I baked for you just this morning. And it's all for you. You're the birthday girl. No sharing required today. Yep, I'm going to eat it. Nom. Like that there pit boy, miss. Fit all right and everything? Should the cult that you fix out for me? As a matter of fact, I did. I'm glad you like it. Some may think the A series is a bit basic, but I've always preferred them for their reliability. Thanks, Stanley. Don't mention it. Oh, yes, I almost forgot. Happy birthday. Not much, but I hope you like it. Aww. Nice. It wasn't easy keeping this a secret. Daddy, now go I on. Told you not to I'm sure everyone all. else. I'm hungry, and that stupid robot destroyed the cake. Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. Oh, you look hungry. Your mom drank all your ration coupons again. Hmm, it was so good. I ate it a few minutes ago. What? Dang! I love those sweet rolls, old lady Palmer. Way, you got it? It's good like it sounds. What do you 
on foot swamp. I thought you were in trouble there for a second. Nothing. Just wishing me happy birthday. <laughs> sure he was. Anyway, I'm glad you're having a good time. I was afraid he would find some way to ruin your party. was Jonas on the intercom. He and I have been cooking up a little surprise present. Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Jeez, Wally, who's at it again? You or me? How are you no way. the party, Mrs. Palmer? I ha Happy birthday, dearie. My goodness, I hope I didn't miss the party. Yeah, my dad and uh, Mother threw me a great party, didn't they? They sure did. My, my. Ten years old already? Why, I can remember helping your dad change your diapers. <laughs> and now look at you. A great big grown-up ten-year-old with your very own Pip-Boy. Since this was such a special occasion, do you know what I did? I wrote you a poem. Just for you. I hope you like it. Thank you. I will treasure it as always. Is that all? Of course. Run along now, dearie, and have yourself a wonderful birthday. <laughs> what are you doing down here, young lady? I thought kids weren't allowed down on the reactor level. I'm not a kid. I'm ten. <laughs> Sure are. Pip boy and everything. Look at that. If you can wait just one more minute, I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Are you ready for your surprise? What kind of surprise? The overseer gave you your pit boy, and you're old enough to do some work. So, I figure you're old enough for this. Your own BB gun. It's a little old, but it should work perfectly. Jonas found it down here. It was in pretty rough shape. It took us a good three months to find the parts to get it working again. You know how tough it is to find a spring that small? Good thing Butch must place that switch blade of his. <laughs> so, what do you think? Want to give it a try? We can't shoot a gun here. We sure can't, unless we want the overseer beating down on Jonas and I have found a place, though. Come on. Well, what do you think? We can come down here and shoot anytime you want. Thanks, Dad. You're welcome, sweetie. Happy birthday. Good work. That's one less Rad Roads to deal with. Let's get a picture together. Capture the moment. Hey, Jonas. Get a picture of me with a big game hunter. There we go. Go on now. You've got a goat to take. 
If you re if you say so, Dad. Hey, it's not my call. Those are the rules. You're 16 now, so this year you take the goat. Come on, it's not so bad. Everyone has to take it. You'll do just fine. Bye, Dad. Take care, sweetie. I got out of here. And good luck. Stole it. Taking. There we go. Get out of my way, you stupid tunnel snakes! I can show you a real tunnel snake, Amana. God, Butch, why don't you just leave me alone? What are you gonna tell do, her, Butch? Amana? Let's go, go over the store room, Daddy on us. I'll show you. Yeah. What do you want? What's going on here? None of your business, kid. Get out of here before you get hurt. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? Leave her a letter. You'll answer to me. And who are you? Her girlfriend? Ha! Should have known. Keep talking like that girl, and we'll send you back to your daddy with a few broken bones for him to fix. Uh, if you keep messing with her, you're... The overseer is going to come down in your gang. Maybe you're right. We can deal with her later. Come on, tunnel snakes. This little God, bitch isn't worth our time. Whatever you say, Butch. You're the boss. Thanks for getting rid of them. Assholes. I don't know why they won't leave me alone. Just because my father's the overseer, I guess? Idiots. Tunnel snakes rule. Fine. Let's go. Well, you made. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. <sighs> uh, I'm sure. Uh, sure, I'm ready. I bet I'll ace it. I'm sure you will. Especially since it's multiple choice with no wrong answers. We'll start as soon as everyone's found a seat. Good luck. Take your seat so we can get started. I want to sit here. Say nothing. Grab the nearby pipe and hit the scientist in the head and knock him out. For all you knew, he was planning to blow up the vault. Question two. While working as an intern in the clinic, a patient with a strange infection in his foot stumbles through the door. The infection is spreading at an alarming rate, but the doctor has stepped out for a while. What do you do? Hmm. Medicate the infected areas to best of your abilities. Need the boy to safety and then turn him over to the overseer. Question four. Congratulations. You've made one of the vault 101 baseball teams. Which position do you play? Um I prefer soccer.
Hmm. Well, I don't want any witnesses, so ask Granny for some cyanide to cook into the residence next meal instead. Um, use a bobby pin and pick the door. Question seven. Oh no, you've been exposed to radiation. And a mutated hand has grown out of your stomach. What's the best course for treatment? <sighs> <laughs> Move the mutated tissue with a precision laser. Trade the comic for one of your valuable, your own valuable possessions. Loosen the bolts on the pipes. When the sink is turned on, the room will flood. Say the overs here. Pencil down, people. That's it. Infamous ghost. I'm sure most of you didn't find it so bad. Others, well, there are always openings in the maintenance department. Don't forget to hand in your test before you leave. We don't want to know what happens to people who fail the ghost. You can have the rest of the day off to celebrate or to pray as the situation warrants. Okay, so I give him the only one, first one. Huh. I wonder who will be brave enough to be your first customer at the vault's new tattoo office. I promise it won't be me. Oh. <laughs> that can't be right. Stupid Tess got it all wrong. Listen, I was just as obnoxious as your age. I didn't take the goat seriously. Look where I ended up. Just between you and me. Medicine, melee, and survival, huh? Hmm. Nope, these are the results I should stick with. If I'm going to roleplay it, that's what I chose. But that's nice to have right there. Survival. Dreaming about you. Oh, ropes! Knock it off! This is serious! <laughs> My father's men are looking for you. They've already killed Jonas. You've got to get out of here. What the hell's going on? Jonas is dead? It's your dad. He's left the vault. My father thinks Jonas helped him escape. So he had his men. My god, they killed him. They just beat him and beat him and wouldn't stop. And I'm next, is that it? Yeah, it's lucky I got here ahead of them. But we can't stand here talking. You've got to get out of here. You're the overseer's daughter. Can you fix can you fix us? Not this time. My father, he's not listening to anybody. If he even finds out that I've been helping you, but that doesn't matter. I can take care of myself. It's you he's looking for. And I have a plan. I know how to get you out of the vault. Well, I, I think it'll work. How? Listen, 
there's a secret tunnel that leads directly from my father's office to the exit. You'll have to hack the computer in his office to open it. Use these to get into his office. That's how I always get in. What makes you think the tunnel won't be guarded? Could be a trap. We don't have time for this. Trust me, security doesn't know about the tunnel. Just my father and me. Maybe this pistol I stole from my father will make you feel better. Go ahead, take it. And then let's get out of here. Thanks, Amon. I'll only use it for the last resort. Okay, I'll try to meet you at the exit. Watch out for security. Good luck. Okay, what do we got? Baseball bat. Gotta grab all my stuff. Butch, asking me for help. If only I knew... If only you knew what honoring meant. Irony meant. Yeah, I'm asking you. So what? Look, I'm sorry for the way I've always treated you. You know I never meant any of it, right? But it's my mom. You can't leave her in there with the rat roaches. Alright, I'll help her. But I'm doing this for your mom, not you. Sure, I, I don't care why. Just get her out of there. you to have my tunnel snake's jacket. Go ahead, take it. Grandma Taylor. Okay, is there anything else in here? I'll grab all this stuff. Guess I can grab all this glass. Let's see. Armor and oops. Armor and helmet. That's a melee weapon five. Heck yeah. Hold on, Missy, I just want to talk to you for a minute. Yeah, yeah. Gomez. You're lucky it was me who found you. The others won't be so forgiving. I don't know what you're up to, and I, I don't want to know. Just just clear out of here, and I'll pretend I never saw you. Thanks, Officer Gomez. I always liked you. 
It's a real shame it's come to this. I can't believe what they did to Jonas. Officer Mack was just out of control. But you're a good kid. You didn't do anything to deserve this. Go find your dad if you can. I know that. Thank goodness see you again. I you're the one everybody's looking for, right? It's none of my business. Your dad always took good care of us. I'm afraid to ask you. I believe he's gone to Why don't you look where you're going? Doctor's bag. Choir's key. Just hold still. The ref stabilizer's been knocked loose. I am a bit still. Your old pulsing hands and the shaking. If you keep turning like that, I'm gonna crack your casing. Don't blame me for your incompetence. We should just go back to our quarters. It's our only chance, don't you see? We're getting out of here, just like the doctor. I'm not gonna let anyone stop us. Oh, uh, wrong button. Come on, reload. in the back. Toolbox. Ooh, bunch of items. Okay. What 
does she have to do with any of this anyway? Probably nothing. Which is why you need to tell me where she is, so I can talk to her. Again, you need to learn some respect. No, please don't! Stop in the name of the Overseer! I hope you're here to turn yourself in, young lady. You're already in enough trouble as it is. Don't make it worse for yourself. If you ever lay a head on a mod again, I'll make sure you regret it. I place the good of the vault above everything, even my own paternal feelings. We must not allow sentiment to cloud our judgment. But I admire your protective instincts. Very well. I give you my word that Amato will not suffer further because of your actions. Now then, if you really care about Amato, you will see how dangerous your father's actions were. Hand over your weapons, and put an end to this dangerous situation. There is no need to join your father as a traitor to the vault. Is that what you told? Oh no, 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 no. Just give me the keys to your office and your password and I'll be going. Oh, is that all? Is there anything else I can get you while you're here? You'll get nothing from me. I'll die before I see the safety of the vault compromised again. <laughs> wow. I'll escape without your help then. I'm the one who's... I'm not the one who started killing people. Save your sanctimony. The world is a dangerous place, and I make no apologies for doing whatever it takes to keep the vault safe. Guards, help me! you my father wasn't himself I don't know what he might have done if you hadn't come along you'd better get out of here I'll try to meet you at the vault door if I don't make it good luck thanks Amada Talks. Nope. Nope. Here we go. I think there was once that I got a machine gun from one of these guards.
You did it! You opened the door! My god, I almost didn't believe it was possible. I couldn't have done it without your help. No, you didn't need me. If anyone can survive out there, it's you. Why don't you come with me? It's tempting, but my place is here. The vault needs me more than you do. I'm the only one who has a chance to talk some sense into my father. Listen, if you do catch up with your dad, tell him I'm sorry for, you know, Jonas and, and my father and everything. Goodbye. Found it right there. Whoa, crit his head off. Literally. Okay, yeah, off I go. Okay, um, no, I don't want to do, deal with radiation and hunger and hardcore mode. That's for a different channel, or different stream, or series. But for now, I'm going to actually end it here. We will do more next episode. Till then, see ya.